Hey guys, welcome back. It's Micah Evans here. I am the uh, director of product design here at Grav. And today we are here talking about a new addition and it's a tribute to the original product here at Grav and that is the new Monarch Gravity Bomb. So Grav, if you guys have uh, just caught on to our products here, Grav started off as Gravitron, which is the original Gravity Bong. It is the original, original Gravity Bong was just a, a vase like you could find, um, like a Pier 1 Imports and a wine bottle cut in half. I mean, this is your basic Gravity Bong. I know when I was in college, I built a Gravity Bong. Uh, we build gravity bongs out of all kinds of stuff, but this was one of the first like all glass gravity bongs to be made for for sale, uh, as far as I know. Probably a lot before this, but this is the foundation that Grav was built on. David Daly, who's the founder of Grav, started this stuff in his garage. In our archive room, you can find like all kinds of early prototypes of. Obviously, wine bottles used it like liquid silicone to protect yourself from all the sharp edges. And then a couple of years back, we updated it to be all borosilicate with a high precision uh, female ground fitting and a much thicker borosilicate vase. And then this past year, I've been fine tuning what my working title for this was the Fancy Tron because it all started when uh, one of the people in product asked if we could do, you know, an addition to the Gravity Bong family. And I was like, you know, I've always wanted to do a fancy ass Gravitron. And here we are, the Monarch Gravity Bong from Grav. So using this material that is typically found mostly in like lighting industries and at a scale that is very large. So the outside of this vase is smooth to the touch and the inside has these kind of like you can maybe hear that has these little ridges to it and those ridges come to a point and when when the light hits these each one of those ridges collects reflects refracts um, that light kind of like a prism in different ways we also used that same material to form the top neck part of this of the monarch And that's when I have introduced kind of one of my favorite little recessed cutouts. So the similar profile to kind of the waist on the um, Empress and the top here to the wobble. Introducing this like nice hard edge and a curve and the way that light plays with both of those in glass. If you've paid attention to kind of my previous behind the designs and what I, one of my favorite parts of clear glass is the reflection and refraction you get from creating a curve or a hard edge. And in this case, it also gave you a really great spot to grab on ergonomically to hold this and lift this gravity bump. That's classy as fuck, just like us. One more thing, we just remembered, behind the name. <laughs> sometimes naming stuff is really easy and sometimes it's really painful. And the Monarch was probably one of the most painful naming processes because we're coming from the Gravitron, like the, the thing that our company is named after. And to try to figure out how to name a gravity bong, nothing quite fit. And so we went back and forth for months until finally somebody was like, you guys, we have to like make boxes for this stuff. It, it needs a name like yesterday. And well, in the process, I was talking about this tubing and the optic tubing, like the way that it bends like these little ribs and that it reminded me of a kaleidoscope and how it refracts and reflect, refracts light and all that stuff. And we were watching a documentary about monarch butterflies and a, a flock or a group of butterflies was called a kaleidoscope. And it just kind of clicked 
and I came back and was like, I don't know, it may be too fresh in my head, but I was watching this documentary last night about monarch butterflies and they're called a kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope was one of my inspirational things. What about the monarch? And it, everybody was just ding, ding, ding. It was like, that was it. You know, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, but I was pushing for fancy Tron the whole time, but we settled on the monarch. Monarch gravity bone. So like, comment, subscribe, you know the routine. Thanks for watching, I love doing these. Please, any more questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time.